Hello and welcome to another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. I am your host, Jose on the mic, and with me as always is a lovely, amazing dancer, Ame. How are you doing? I am excellent today. How are you? I am doing fabulous, and you look like a million bucks tax-free. Thank you, um, as well as our beautiful guest. We uh, do have a lovely guest today who's got quite a bit going on, so this should be really interesting. Alana Adams, how are you doing, young lady? I'm amazing. Thanks uh, for yes. asking. Absolutely. Celebrity um, makeup artist. Celebrity makeup artist. Uh, this is a really Alana good time. Adams. Check this out. We'll be right back. So how about that? Now that's some talent right there. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, they have you. quite a quite a bit of work that you have accomplished. And yeah, you do uh, have quite a thing, yes. uh, quite a few things that you got going on. Yes. Uh, where do we start, actually? I may I please? Okay, so um, some celebrities that you've worked on: Big, Sharon Stone, yes. Priscilla Presley. Yes. You're going to have to tell us the funny story about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. But wait on that just okay. a second. Um, I mean, That's a teaser for you. Runway. <laughs> yeah. I have a big taste. There you go. <laughs> there, there we go. Not sure what to say about that, but okay. Uh, I, think no, we, but I think we just lit this candle. So that, that's a beautiful promo, and it has Thank a great, so great selection of your work. We're talking about Versace Runway, French Vogue, on and on and on, right? Yeah, name dropper. <laughs> I'm, I'm bragging about Absolutely. her. Absolutely. She should, and as you should. Yeah. Yes. That's family and, um, stuff. So I know Lana from <clears throat> Studio 22. Yes. And um, she caught my eye on Facebook. Of course, I, I, I've known you, of course, the studio. And, just and my been, dancing skills. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And I just I love uh, watching you do the West Coast swing. Your teacher, Wes, by the way, hasn't been on the show. Oh, uh, we have to get Wes on yeah, the show for right. sure. Yeah. Gotta get him on? Okay. Yeah, that's my okay. coach. So, uh, yeah, so it's just great to know you. And then it, I had seen this beautiful work that you've done for our dancers, mm -hmm. uh, our competitors, hair and makeup. And the best way I can explain how she does the makeup for uh, the dancers is I see these ladies at the best version of themselves. They're just on a, a unbelievable, just beautiful, like... Oh my gosh! Stunning. Sammy looks great, but it, but it's Sammy. It's not like, who is that? Oh, it's Sammy. It's like, oh my gosh, Sammy looks amazing, or you know, whoever it is that you've done. And so that's why it, that caught my eye. I was like, wow, she's got skills. She knows what she's talking about. Um, I guess uh, in a sense, she brings out the personality in the person. The the, the beauty, their absolute beauty. There you Everything go. that's beautiful about them, she highlights. She oh, enhances. Okay, nice. You know, yeah, you, just like a great outfit that highlights all the good parts and covers <laughs> all the bad parts. 
<laughs> so she nah. has that knack. I know about that. And, and, uh, I mean, they just like, so I'm bragging about it. I'm just saying from my point of view. So then she's doing these breakout sessions on Facebook, and I'm like, what is that? That's so interesting. Um, tell me more about it. We, let's get you on the podcast um, so you can talk about it. And it's basically yeah. training, you, you say. Yeah, um, I started breakout sessions. I started to get a lot of people in the public asking me um, about photo shoots and um, kids wanting to learn how to do makeup or hair. And um, I actually had a friend of mine that's another celebrity a hairstylist that travels all over the country. And we were having dinner one night and he goes, why aren't you educating and I was like, huh? You know, he's like, you've worked with all these companies, worked for these big designers, yeah. you've done images for all this. He goes, you need to be educating. So that's where the light bulb went off. And then I had um, Sergey and Michelle ask me to do a photo shoot for them and um, at Studio 22. And it just started this path of me starting to help people with branding. So breakout sessions is a lot of things. It is... Um, Basically, it's the way I'm branding myself. Uh, breakout sessions can be me doing hair and makeup for uh, dancers at a competition. It can be me going to a salon and teaching um, hairdressers um, wedding styles or something that I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It can be, um, I just did my very first kids breakout sessions with uh, kids that are signed with agencies to help them branding and um, putting- What kind of age group are we talking about? <clears throat> You this children. weekend, it was anywhere from, we had two T's to about oh, wow. 10 years old. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I want to talk about branding okay. because um, I think branding is one of those um, words that's like, everyone kind of knows what it is, but in a way, maybe they don't. And one of my friends once told me, and I, and I hold to this, I think it's so smart. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to state the obvious. So how would you explain branding to someone? Well, I mean, uh, being a hair and makeup artist, I've done the, um, the image basically for marketing for lots of companies. <clears throat> and um, so uh, it's the way that you brand, uh, brand yourself is the way you present yourself. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Makes sense. You know, like how you would catch your eye or like when I set up a, um, a photo shoot for a dancer... I'm also going to pick a, a photographer that understands dance, that understands movement, that can catch, you know, movement. Or if I'm uh, doing um, a photo shoot for kids, you know, I want people that are more connected. I try to put the group together when they're connected to whatever I'm trying to do. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And I, I do kind of feel a kindred spirit to you in this weird way. I think you'll understand. Because uh, it was hard to get us connected to get you here on the podcast because people call you at the last minute. Yeah. You know, so they're getting whatever campaign together and the model and the set and the this. And then it's like they call the makeup artist at the last minute. Now, you need the makeup artist. Yeah. But, so I feel like as a wedding dance instructor, we get called at the last minute too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got to learn how to dance. So it's like... Like, oh yeah we have to get our makeup done so you get called like the night before all the time yeah I always uh, explain my job is like I'm a, like a, do a doctor you know it's like <laughs> okay. you get called and you're like and it's an emergency yeah or you know I also have we have a team uh, a lot of my friends are hair, professional hair and makeup artists too so we'll do weddings we fly around the country do yeah. destination weddings and um, so we also cool help each that? other yeah we're, the whole team goes. yeah wow nice we're fixing to go to Aspen do a wedding there and um so it's a pretty fun job yeah oh yeah and i've been great. on different locations with my job so i have done fashion and and marketing uh advertising work for over 30 years so i decided to kind of bring what i do to the public because i had i started to get more and more people interested in like what I do and helping them and, you know, whether it's just helping people with Instagram and your post and seeing how people, you know, all that social media has become huge. such a big thing. It's really ch even changed our market. Wow. And um, so, you know, everybody's looking at Instagram now or social media yeah. instead of necessarily, you know, going to websites, you know? So. Yeah, and that's amazing to know, like, someone like you, the makeup artist, with all the things we've just said, also with the Kim Dawson agency for yes. 30 years, right? Yeah. And knowing that 
this is so important to get on board with social media right now. And, yeah. and I feel like you enjoy it, too, and I think that's part of the trick, too, is yeah. you know it's important, but what, like kind of enjoy the ride, too. But I'm curious, how did you get the name Breakout Sessions? What, what inspired you to, why Breakout Sessions? It's like, I was wondering. Um, my process, I guess I don't have a really great, um, I was just trying to think of a way, you know, like, instead of calling it a photo shoot or something like that, because breakout sessions is more than just a photo shoot. It might be, you know, I also do a uh, breakout uh, sessions Monday. So on my Instagram, you can see every Monday I'll do a video of a hairstyle that I've done. And it could be, I could be anywhere. I could be hanging out at the pool with my friends and we do a video. I'm going to go to a dance competition and do some breakout session videos there. So, um, I don't really have a good answer for that. Yeah, I just came wondering. out with like, I was like, oh, breakout sessions. That I sounds cool. Yeah, it, really, <laughs> yeah, it just popped in my head. <laughs> it's really catchy. It's really catchy. Well, I want to kind of go back to a, a couple different things. First of all, um, you do have, uh, so breakout sessions is like giving and helping people with these techniques that you've learned mm -hmm. that, um, that you've been doing for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, so that you do have that heart of giving and yeah. helping and not just with makeup. Yeah. Um, so tell us about what is it? Empower dot com. Is it empower? empower dreams. Yeah. Empowering is it empower dreams or empowering dreams? Empower dreams. Empower dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Dot org. Yeah. Dot org. Excuse me. Dot org. And of course, we'll get that correct at, on the screen. And when I say <laughs> we, I mean he will. But, um, part of that was bringing clean water to areas in the world like Africa, Honduras. Mm -hmm. uh, me I'm curious how you got that started. Well, uh, actually, one of my friends, we were hanging out, and she had shown me this uh, magazine, and she goes, look at these people that don't have, like, clean water. And, and so, literally, the statement of looking at the, the magazine and go, well, why don't we help them? Just and that simple. It was, well, th that statement, little did I know what would come behind that. I ended up, uh, me and my son started um, a nonprofit called Speak Hope. And we started to use the fashion industry uh, to help us um, raise money. We went over there and did videos and showed the conditions and um, came back. And I used my resources through the fashion industry. Uh, my, my agent was kind of a catalyst, um, Lisa Dawson, for me becoming a nonprofit. And... Um, and we, our first event, like no one told us no. And I was just, and I was like praying to God. I was like, oh God, if you want to like shut the door, I'm fine. I don't have to do this. Like just shut Where's the, the door. <laughs> and every time I would pray, he would, more doors would open. So I literally, I'm not kidding. I prayed this prayer for four months and I was like, if you want to shut the door, just shut the door. <laughs> and so after the fourth month, and um, we got uh, some of the cowboys, Romo and mm -hmm. a, a several other cowboys, they said they would do a little video for us to promote our event. So I was like, nice. okay, I get it. You want me to do the this. The door is open. Yeah. Door is open. <laughs> I've always um, been a person behind the scenes, okay. and I was always the person encouraging others and getting people ready to for them to go do whatever they were, you know, going to do uh, or perform or go on stage or for the photo shoot. And so I wasn't used to being the person that used my voice. And uh, I thought, no one's going to listen to me. No <laughs> one's going to care what I have to say. But my industry really proved me wrong. Wow. Um, everybody uh, got together. We had a huge event. I think we um, had over 400 people show up. And I had Helen Vicalora. She made a necklace for us and gave us 100% of the proceeds. And so that started um, me really thinking that, you know, what are you using your voice for? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean... Mm -hmm. I get to do pretty every day, you know, and um, <laughs> there so, you go. <laughs> so for me, it was like, you know, I would use that, like as I was doing someone's makeup, I would, you know, tell them that we're raising money for, you know, clean water in Africa and I'd have models give me money, people write checks and, and it just became this thing of like, wow, all you have to do is really, yes. you know, talk about something. And if you use your voice, you know, for somebody that really doesn't have a way to, to hear their voice, mm -hmm. that it was really cool to uh, be a part of that. So um, 
my son has now moved to New York and is a uh, director and has his own production company in New York. Go so, for him. Yeah. yeah he's big so time. Crap. He's bigger than his mama, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to do a job with L'Oreal with him, but... Um, that was a fun picture. Yeah, too. that was yeah. fun. Um, but, um, so we shut down Water Thirst because um, Speak Hope was Water, Speak Hope Water Thirst. And um, because I wanted to... Um, do it with him you know we we were everybody thought we were this big huge nonprofit. it was just me and him and he's like so i um when i shut that down i had empower dreams contact me and asked me to be part of their team and these oh. guys are really smart businessmen uh have owned companies sold companies have companies and i'm just a creative person right, right. <laughs> so and they but they started asking me all these questions and i would tell myself why are they asking me these questions you know like i'm 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 a makeup artist, you know, and he goes, well, that's why they're really great businessmen, because they listen to you, but yeah. they had said we needed someone on our team that thought different than we did, and so that's me, you know, I think oh, creative, they okay, think business, okay. and so... How nice that they listen. Yeah. That's awesome. They're smart enough to listen, <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, that's really what yeah. it comes down to. Yeah, and I've learned so much from them, so it's been a great collaboration working with Empower Dreams. Great. Yeah. yeah. And so what's one of the uh, projects going on with Empower Dreams right now? Um, we, I had just um, bought the land for a school that was built out there. Um, and we also helped provide uh, the water line that was there. And um, That's huge. Yeah. It's, it's a huge uh, water line. Um, we, ra- it, we had to raise $200,000 for mm-hmm. it. There's a, you know... Um, what happens is a lot of times because people are so desperate for water, people try to break into the the pipes and that sort of thing. And oh, um, never thought of that. Yeah, so we had to we had to build. There's a guard, a 24 hour guard, and everything that protects the oh, water line. Oh, and okay. Um, okay. so it, it was a big project, and it's really cool. We were uh, me and my son went over there to um, do the video work and to be see the school being built and see oh, how the kids um, how it changed their lives and. Very cool. um, they would point to the school and they would say, God is here. So <gasps> nice. I was just like, hold on. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. it's just one of those things that you don't realize, you know, that um, know. if you can only be a part of, you know, maybe you're a part of the, the video crew that comes over and, and, and takes their time. You know, maybe you're not giving money, but um, a little... A little goes a long way, and I, I saw that awesome. because I used to compare. You know, we love to compare ourselves, so I would compare myself to other nonprofits. Oh, that nonprofit like raised that much money, and we just raised this amount of money. But I realized that the amount of money it that was the number as Americans, numbers are really important to us. Uh-huh. And I realized it wasn't about the numbers. And so... It was about the effectiveness of yeah. the group, right? And to see all the lives being changed. And they point to the school and they say, God is here. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, and I just think about that. You know, just people not having water, access to water. Something to- that we take for granted. Right. Obviously. I'm like, I'm thirsty in the middle of the night. Like, uh, I have to actually get out of bed and get the water. And, and, you know, and I'm complaining if my shower is not quite hot enough and just... Yeah. You just put everything in perspective. Like, wow, okay, maybe I won't complain yeah, we did so much. One story on a grandmother uh, there. We also uh, helped provide water for mm-hmm. orphanage there, Naomi's Village. And um, the first day we went to the grandmother's house, um, we brought her water. So with my Americanisms, the next day we didn't bring water again. And so um, I was like, Oh, all the water's gone. Like we just brought our water and all the water's gone. But they are so desperate for water that they'll share. So whatever they get, they share with the family, you know, a what you know, they'll share with all their families or their friends and mm-hmm. they don't like necessarily keep it, it they don't hoard it. You know, they're there to share to share. So we mm-hmm. actually spent probably about four hours uh in the desert. Uh, looking for water, you know, and we'd go here and they were out of water. And so we actually got to experience, oh, yeah, there's no source of water. I mean, their water source is a 
dirty river that you know ca- you know cattle go through and um, <laughs> do their business. Yeah, like I, we course. went to the river and I I wouldn't touch the water. You know, I was like, oh, I'm not touching that. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and that's what they drink. They'll boil it, but you know, and so that's kind amazing. of what they live with. Love wow. that you did that. That's amazing. It's great to, um, like you said, have you have a voice and you just do. You just think you're doing just a little thing, but it turns into something bigger. Yeah, sure. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That's a lot awesome. of people in the dance world don't know that about me, but <laughs> well, they well, they're about to find out now. <laughs> they will have, and then, <laughs> So in the back of my head, there's like oh, yeah. thinking about a voice, and there's a very special voice <laughs> that I'm thinking about. Arnold. You, oh I, yeah. I did ask you ahead of time because I wanted to be surprised, and you yeah. have a funny story about yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was a client of yours. Yeah. Yeah, he came in. Actually, he came into uh, Dallas. They brought him in for a charity event for Ad Anderson in uh, Houston, and. Um, so I got the booking through the agency, and uh, I went to the airport because he was flying in on his private jet, and I was sitting there waiting for him, and people come by, and they go, are you Lana Adams? And I'm like, yeah. And then, okay. And I walk away. Someone else come by. Are you Lana Adams? Yeah. Still, still her. Yeah. <laughs> so I probably had about five people asking me if I was Lana Adams, and I was like, I just need to make a sign, people, so they know. Yeah, right. So um, he finally arrived, and the uh, limo driver like took off, and I was like, okay, what? Uh, what am I supposed to do here? So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to go to the jet. So I'm walking, and of course the jet fumes and everything are like blowing and so like my hair is like <laughs> it's not you it's know. not like pretty much yeah no so I'm like on the on his walk on his jet and I'm all like hi I'm I'm Lana Adams your makeup artist <laughs> but did your hair <laughs> the jet the jet <laughs> but um we laughed and joked and we had a good time and and um he asked me uh, they had asked me for a certain color and I didn't have it. So he goes, oh, oh, I have mine. You can use mine. So I went to put it on my hand. And when I put the makeup on my hand, it spl- I had a white shirt on. And it splattered <laughs> all over my shirt. So I was like, okay. He's like, oh, no. Of course, I can't do Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger voice very good. But <laughs> Maybe it sounds like, he's like, oh, no. He goes, oh, no. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me get my shirt. So, like, he goes to the back, he's pulling out a shirt, like, it's like a gym shirt or something, and I'm, like, thinking, oh, no, I'm good, I'm good, he's like, no, 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 where my shirt, where my shirt, <laughs> and, of course, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, if I put this shirt on, and I don't fit an Arnold Schwarzenegger's shirt, and they see every biscuit I have, <laughs> I mean, this is not going to be good, you know, and I was like, so I'm sweating at this point, I'm like, okay, no, I'm good, I'm good. So, um, we got him ready and the limo driver was taking him and, you know, it was a huge event. Like there were people that like drove in from Oklahoma that had Arnold Schwarzenegger signs that they were trying to get him to sign. And and so I was trying to keep up with the limo. I was driving, you know, and and by this time trying to wash my shirt, driving there, (laughs) I get to the hotel and, um, I can't find the limo. I'm like, you know, I've lost them. They've taken off and I'm like, okay. There's hundreds of people going to this event. They're not going to believe me because there's fans also. Not even people going to the event. You have these fans. Yeah, but you're the one wearing the makeup. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) This crazy lady. Yeah, she says she's with Arnold. Sure. Yeah. So I was smart enough to know to go to the cameraman and say, "Hey, I'm Arnold's makeup artist. I need to know where he's at." So. Anyway, he says, oh, he'll, he directs me to where he is. And he's like, where you been? And I'm like, he goes, he goes, I'll never forget the girl from Dallas, Lana. <laughs> so we, uh, we, we kind of touch him up. And then it's time for him to be announced. And, and we're at the event and behind these big, huge closed doors. And he's over there talking to the kids from the hospital, right. and I'm admiring, and I'm like, oh, look, Arnold's got such a great heart. He's over there, you know, talking to the kids, and all of a sudden, the doors open, and they go, the living legend, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The doors swing open, and the spotlight's on me, and I'm like, hey. uh, I'm just like, Arnold! <laughs> I need that shirt. <laughs> and I'm really like, 
so uh, he comes and um, he's seated, and it, it was a, a really great event. But those are just like one of my experiences of you know my hair and makeup jobs. That's fine. <laughs> don't they don't the always go just the way you want them to. So. Right. <laughs> don't mind the makeup. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> you get dirty See sometimes. How hard, you get dirty sometimes. Hard I'm working. Yeah. That is kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. That, that is awesome. Um, where was I going with this? I'm sorry. You <laughs> keep calling me. <laughs> I just lost it. Well, I, I keep kinda... looking at my shirt. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure that you're, you know. So now she's wearing a brown shirt. No, I'm no. So um, I, I do have a question for you. I was thinking about this because there's so much now. Like I, I love fashion. I love uh-huh. fashion magazines. And so many models now. Uh-huh. Uh, over 50 ladies. And I mean, this is this a just a fluke or is this really changing that there is a... I also saw another article about like a model male models over fifty. Like there's a big uh, want for that. Is that true? What do you what do you say? I think that the fashion industry goes in waves. Um, that right now the trend is to have people that look like real people. The funny thing about in our oh. industry, if sure. you're not a model, we call you a, a real people. <laughs> Okay. So it's like sorry, we have labels. We don't world. like oh. labels. The real world and the dance world. So yeah. It's a, so it's okay or, now. You know, I do say I'm a dancer. You know, yeah. so. I was gonna say. So I guess it's uh, trending now to be. Uh, you know. Yeah, they're wanting. Works. Yeah, they're wanting people that you know it used to be had to be a certain size or mm-hmm. uh, you had to look a certain way. Height. Yeah, and so now they uh, are uh, taking people that are you know different sizes and just your average joe yes the the marketing advertising right now is has that trend but it goes that way and it comes back and they want the models yeah i've been in it long enough to see it go and come and go we want the models again (laughs) yeah there you go So, so the average guy can still get a gig now okay I'm digging that. So. Yeah, right. That's what we're all here yeah. for gigs. There yeah. you go. I know. <laughs> so, exactly uh, I want to talk about your dancing. Okay. Yeah, yeah because dancing. I mean, dan- dancing changes people's lives. Yeah. And so you uh, you wrote a lot out about um, how it's transformed your life mm-hmm. um, in terms of trusting. Yeah. And people sometimes maybe first starting dance or think about first starting dance wouldn't ever think that dancing could do that. Yeah, I first started dancing uh, just for the joy of it. One of my friends had invited me to one of the uh, Studio 22's dance parties. I didn't dance that night, but I was watching everybody dance, and I was like, wow, all these people are having fun. They're all smiling. They're laughing. (laughs) There must be something to it. I was like, they were really having fun, and I thought, I want to have fun. (laughs) So I started going to the studio, and I started out with Salsa, Mm -hmm. um, with Sergey and Michelle that are awesome, Mm -hmm. the best. Yeah, I've seen them. They're pretty Mm -hmm. uh, pretty amazing. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're great. Yeah, I love them. And um, I did that for several years, and I still do that. And uh, But then I started... um, I met Wes and started going to his classes, and I fell in love with West Coast Swing. And I started to take lessons, and um, I never realized that dancing was such a healing uh, Mm -hmm. tool for me, Mm -hmm. that, you know, I had uh, trust issues, and uh, he would always like, you got to trust me. You've got to trust me. So as I was taking more lessons, I kept hearing, you know, trust. And so... Um, I got to a point that I wanted to perform and uh, compete, so that was a really um, breaking through the wall of a fear and not mm. trusting people and getting to a point that, you know, your partner is going to take care of you and trusting your partner and not always trying to handle everything on your own. Because I think as women, we, we you know, we're terrible caretakers so we wanted oh I can do that yeah. you know instead of waiting you know and and also being the follower and waiting on the lead instead of like he goes I haven't led you in that I was like okay I'm working on that <laughs> throttle, uh, throttle back <laughs> it's an art form to yeah. follow it really is yeah and yeah. he's just been a great coach for me and um he's a great instructor yeah he is he's a great instructor He's got quite a big following, too. Yeah, he does. He classes, big parties. When he uh, was coaching me, he's like, so I decided I was going to do my very first competition. And, and, you know, he's honest with you. He's like, look, you're going to have all these 
kids that are younger, you know, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm going to do it, you know, and... Um, Being a realist. But he says, but I think you can win this. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he did. It was yeah. your first one. You My first two, yeah, yeah, I won um, the competition uh, as a... And, um, but I also found my dance partner, Alfie Coy, and, um, same thing with him. We started practicing together. We perform at the studio mm -hmm. at their dance parties. And I would hear that word trust. He goes, you've got to trust me. So that was, uh, for me, that something kept reoccurring, mm -hmm. knowing that, oh, okay, this is something I have to work on. So I do believe that uh, dance changes people and it heals people. And um, the great thing for me is the relationships that are built mm -hmm. and um, the people that you meet and, you know, you become like this little dance family. And uh, the great thing about Studio 22 is that they're just not a studio. They're also a social club. Mm -hmm. So they also have every month they have socials with whatever dance you do, West Coast Swing, Salsa, Tango. Mm -hmm. They have uh, classes there. They do uh, Salsa in the Park at Cloud Warren Park. And um, so they create this lifestyle of togetherness and connecting people. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's a great model, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You're, and you you're, don't get that with other studios. No, I, uh, I don't see that. And uh, uh, not just because, uh, you know, Amay works there. I'm, I actually get to see quite a bit of that. I've uh, been to other uh, studios. And no, you don't really get that sort of uh, full-time connection that you get uh, Studio 22. So props to them. They really mm -hmm. do have great models. Yeah. yeah. They really do. Yeah. Good group of people there. Yes, they are. Great teachers. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and... They're the best instructors. They're yes. the best instructors. <laughs> they really do. saying, I've been there, I've seen it, they're the best. There you go. All right, young lady, we're going to let you uh, get up out of here and continue with the rest of your day. Thank Conquering you for being the here. Conquering the world. Conquering <laughs> the world. Bringing that clean water to you. I love that. That was uh, and, and always And making uh, real people... And models, beautiful. Yeah, like a real yeah. If Make anybody, it. they can follow me on Instagram. I'm Lana underscore Adams, and I breakout sessions. We'll get that break oh, underscore. Yeah. Sessions. Sure, I'll make sure to get that on there. Okay. Again, thank you for uh, being here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks the lovely for having Amay. me. Yeah, absolutely. The lovely Amay, thank you. Thank you, Jose. Uh, it's a great day when you're here. Oh. All right, folks. Well, this has uh, been another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. Thank you for watching.